Hey everybody, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. Today we have another Piston Cup racer. This is Darren Leadfoot. He races for Shiny Wax as number 82. I got this from a Maze and Boys Toys Co. Thank you very much over there. Thank you, Bailey Maze. Their eBay store is currently called Code Maze Zero. The link to it is in the description below if you want to check it out. They're currently in the process of changing everything over to a Maze and Boys Toys Co. with their own website. It's going to be awesome and it's coming very soon. Their email address is also in the description below so you can contact them asking about a certain item that you may not see on their eBay store. They have stuff available ranging back to 2006 to present day so the chances are great that they'll have it available for sale that you know anything that you really have in mind. You can also email them if you want to sell something that you just have laying around that you don't really want anymore. If it's in the package great. If it's out of the package, that's cool too. Just let them know all the details, all the condition stuff, and you might be in luck. And they do ship worldwide, so it does not matter where you are. Australia, South Africa, Nepal, doesn't matter. Regardless, they'll ship to you. So great guys over there. I definitely recommend them. All right, let's get into the review now of the package of Mr. Darren Leadfoot here. He's looking great. He's in obviously Case H along with a bunch of other new cars such as Broadside here. So he is now in the poll. If you just click on the top right hand corner up here, there's a little info bubble and you can vote for what car you want me to review next. Broadside is option number one. Option number two goes to Jimbo. Option number three is Synergy here, Lane Lock, the number five racer. Option four goes to Fishtail, another Demolition Derby contender. This guy is happy and he looks gruesome. Option five goes to the runner-up of yesterday's poll, Roscoe. So the results, I'll throw them on the screen there. I checked about two hours like after the video was published and Darren and Roscoe were tied at 37% each, but then I just checked before I started the video here, and Darren pulled ahead so far, leaving him with like 60% of the people who voted wanted him, and then Roscoe had like 13, and then the others had like below 10. So it was close at the start, but yeah, Darren definitely won. It was like 400, no, 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 257 votes, I think, for him. I don't you know, remember exactly, I didn't write them down, but you guys can see there on the screen. So you have case H, the contents are in the description below. It's probably one of the best cases we've ever gotten because like all the cars you see right there, they're brand new and they're all in the same case. Pretty awesome, right? Roscoe, Broadside, Jimbo, Fishtail, AP, B, and Ernie Gearson. So I'll probably put these two in the next poll for tomorrow or whatever. I'm going to try to do this whole thing from memory. And you guys just trust me, all right? Blindside by a new generation of pissing car racers. Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. Bam! I did that completely from memory. I know you guys can choose why or not to believe me, but trust me, I was looking away. I was looking out the window, my little window over here, but I'll be right back with Big Darren here out of the package. All right, let's start here with Darren's appearance in Cars 3. So apparently he was the shiny wax racer in Cars 1 2006 as well, and is still racing for part of Cars 3. He eventually gets replaced by the next generation shiny wax racer. I'll try to find a picture and throw that on the screen there of the next gen. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. It looks very different than, you know, the paint scheme here on Darren. But anyway, it's kind of, or at least it's more realistic, more believable that he's still around because his model is more modern, especially, you know, for 2006. He probably started racing in 2004 or 5, and so it's just more realistic than Murray Clutchburn, whose model is a lot more outdated. Apparently, he started racing in the 80s, and that makes for at least a 30-year career, probably more around 40, but I'm rounding with that. And I don't quite like that 
I mean, I just wish they gave him a new name. How hard would have that been? But this, it makes a little bit more sense. And I like Darren from Cars when he was pretty cool. I liked his like ring design there. No more rings now. We'll do a comparison in a couple moments, but I'll put some pictures on the screen of Darren from Cars 3, who was actually in the teaser trailer, the very first one for Cars 3, when it was all gloomy, dark, and everyone thought that was going to be such like a rated R movie because it was so like dark in that trailer. But it ended up being pretty lighthearted and pretty funny in some parts as well, especially with Mater. His actor, Larry the Cable Guy, is definitely the comedian of the Cars bunch. Owen Wilson is also a pretty funny dude. A lot of his movies are comedies, except for No Escape. That was super intense. It's rated R, I think, as well. That was just crazy intense. But anyway, pictures are on the screen there. I know there was definitely one from that first teaser in November, and then there were some subsequent ones as well. I'll see if I can find them, but... I put Darren like that because in the teaser, he is shown kind of that way. Like top, I don't know, more like front left of Jackson Storm there. So yeah, pretty cool they appeared in that first teaser trailer. Makes him more memorable. I remember when I saw him back in 2016. <laughs> I don't know, back in November or whatever, and I'm like, wow, Shiny Wax is back, he looks so different. Now already, not even a year later, we have his die cast. I think that's pretty amazing, that's why I love Mattel so much. It's like, you can count on them to release the die cast that you want. Just give them a little bit of time, I mean, not even that much time. But anyway, as for his releases, so far only as this single. I'm sure though, eventually he'll get released again. I think he definitely will because Shiny Wax is one of the more prominent sponsors I mean, look, he almost got a hauler from Cars 1. He was the next in line for a hauler. It was like so, so close. But nope, just didn't make it. But he did get a team, and we'll take a look at that in a couple moments here. But we're going to do the side-by-side -side comparison now. Of course, their models are, you know, more similar to each other than Murray Clutchburn's two counterpart models. But, you know, obviously now he's a little bit longer, and I'd say he's a little bit thinner as well. Definitely thinner. Yeah, definitely thinner. All right, of course, the expression is definitely, I don't know. I like it more. It's more determined and yet still kind of like happy. Like this, he's just like mad. He's just like, oh my gosh, I gotta win. This, he's got kind of like a smirk and he looks kind of like, you know, excited. I don't know. He just looks ready to race determined. So I like that. Taking a look at the hoods here, the Cars 3 version now has like shiny wax in big bold 3D lettering right there. You can see the black depth and how it's on a perspective angle going off to our right. And I like the little star shines around it because obviously shiny wax is like a cleaner, kind of like, I don't know, what was the other racer I was reviewing? Like trunk fresh, kind of like that as well. Although that's more like of a air conditioner type thing, like an air freshener actually, where this is more of like cleaning stuff, like a Febreze, no, not even Febreze. It's more like a Windex, I guess. I don't know, I'm bad at that kind of stuff with comparisons, but you guys get the idea right there. No more circle logo, not really any rings anymore because this was just like on the slant there and it's all like two dimensional. There's not much depth to the lettering, but now pretty much with all of the Car Story racers, the logos have depth and look more three dimensional, which I like and they're gradient. So it starts off like white over here on the left side and then fades over to kind of like a yellowish orange. And yeah, I just love how different they are because that's why I look for gaskets and toe cap. Their counterparts from Cars 1 to Cars 3, too similar for me. I like this. Like, I like this change. It makes sense because, you know, obviously cars and brands are going to evolve their branding and their marking logos. And, you know, I just feel like gaskets and toe cap just didn't really do that that much. You have 82 below the right headlight there, whereas before I was actually on the headlight because they're just stickers, but now you have actually working headlights. You can't put stickers on them now. The grills are different as well. Before it was a two-part grill, now it is one part, and you can see the individual grates in there, which is like 100% more detailed than before because essentially they're just two black trapezoids right there solid filled. Also, take a look here behind the shiny wax text, you have like this curve that's like orange right here, then you have like white and green on this side, and then like a yellowish green over here. So I like how it's like a four color stripe. That makes it look really detailed and cool. 
before you just had the yellow rings that were all the same color. So we're definitely moving in the right direction with more details. You have Lightyear there on the fenders to, you know, obviously promote the black Lightyear tires and the black rims, which reflects what you had before in 2006. Nothing really changed there. Taking a look at the contingency sponsors, you have Piston Cup, Vitaling Revolting, RPM Nitroid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. Before, you had a lot more. I'm pretty sure he had all of them plus, or actually, yeah, all of them plus, like, 10 more. Now I feel like the numbers haven't really changed too much. Before it was kind of like a light yellow verging on white and then you had the black depth with the green background, the like forest green background there. Now it's more of like a goldish tint to the leathering. It's definitely a lot more three-dimensional though and you still have the dark forest green like blurb background behind it. Now of course you have kind of like these stripes. They're not rings anymore. They're kind of like flyers like stripes and it looks really good in my opinion because you got to change up from the rings. The rings they get old I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that Darren's happy to get those rings off of him now but they kind of are like gradient this way so it's like darker green starting and then it fades into the lighter green, the lime green for sure. He has a completely black bottom there with the red arrow that indicates to the pit crew where to lift Darren up at to do work on the undercarriage. Before there was no such thing as an arrow, you just had the exhaust pipes there which are still there now and the yellow lines of course. So really he's a lot more detailed on the sides nowadays which is great. I love the big shiny wax circular logo here toward the back with the gas cap right in the center there. You can see like the shine around it, which definitely obviously like reflects shiny, which is great. You have like two yellow circles as well, one thin and one a little bit bolder. Before it looked really, really retro, so I'm glad that it looks like the time now, like 2017 definitely would not be this. It's definitely more so this. So I'm so glad that they updated that. Looking here at the roofs. You have a completely lime green top there with 82 there with the forest green background with the roof flaps. Before they didn't bother to change the color, it was just the same green with the stripes there and 82 on a slant. Now it is of course just completely straight. Looking at the back windows here, before you know you had the green stripes here on the back window, now they are black. And of course you have the shiny wax tax logos, you have this like long forest green rectangle here with yellow stripes. Now you have kind of like a lime green background there. Two star shines on either side. Two sparkles, I guess I should say. What the heck are star shines? And I like the 3D shiny wax logo. It's a little bit different from, you know, this one on the hood because obviously this is one on top of the other and now it's just completely horizontal. Definitely a good upgrade. Looking here at the bumper is really where the shine is at. I love how awesome this circle looks here. I feel like the backs of the cars is really where like all the cars shine. Trunk fresh looks amazing on the back because of the two-tone thing. And just a lot of the racers look really, really cool from the back and shiny wax is no exception. Of course, you have the like double yellow circle there, similar to right here. Shiny wax text logo camera there to get really cool shots of racing from behind and the two lime green stripes coming in and then the slanted shiny wax tax logo 82 right there 82 was there before and it just looks so bland shiny wax is minuscule you have the black bumper it's boring look how much more exciting it is now it'd be a pleasure to be racing behind darren before it'd be so boring you know, I feel like it's a strategy, right guys? If you have an appealing back, they'll want to stay behind you and just look at you because you're so appealing from the back. And before, people will want to pass you because it's just so boring on your bumper. Here's the base. I'm not sure if I already showed it, but here it is again, I guess, if you're interested. Today was a really solid day for me, so I'm just kind of like zonked out in one of those whatever moods. Just kind of like, whatever, I want to do a video. I'm going to just have fun with it like always. Although, you know, some reviews are just more difficult than others and they just take more time. But I'm just in a whatever mood right now. And so it's time to do some comparisons. Pick out Darren from Cars 1. So now he is the same model. He's basically the Cal Weathers model. That's how everyone will refer to it as, which is this guy right here. Obviously, the expression is different, but it's the same expression here as on uh, Ralph Carlo. There, same exact expression and same exact expression 
from Ponchi Wipeout. Now you guys may have seen some prototype images that show Darren with black eyelids, kind of like this, but only like a prototype image. That is not the case. Obviously he comes with green eyelids. It's kind of weird like how this, the prototype image shows him with blue eyelids. He gets released with black ones. This one's the complete opposite. Mattel, what are you doing over there? I don't know. I want to work for Mattel and just straighten things out. Guys, if I work for Mattel, suggestions, they won't be suggestion videos anymore. They'll be like, you suggest something for me, I'll make it. I'll make it. It'll be out in stores next month. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to work for Mattel. I, you know, I have that voucher for Precision Series Flow because like they really screwed up with it. So they gave me a $20 voucher, which I really need to use. I forget to bring it with me to the stores all the time. But anyway, they followed me on Twitter. That was awesome. I was super hyped. We were messaging back and forth. And then like when I said I got the voucher, I was like, thank you. And by the way, maybe we could, you know, work something out, you and I, because I just pretty much do promotion for you like 24-7. And they read the message, you know, I got the little blue check mark and no reply. Mattel. Ugh. I would say something right now, but I can't. I can't, Mattel. Sometimes you just get on my nerves a little bit. Anyway, here's Team Shiny Wax. You have Nebenezer Schmidt, I think is this guy's name. And Senior Tracks. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Now, obviously, they look better with Darren from Cars 1 because of the retro logos there. The retro circle logos, of course. That's pretty much what they have. They have three of each. But still looks pretty cool nowadays, just looks a little bit, you know, kind of weird, it's like 2006 versus 2017. Now all three of them look really awesome together. And I have this Movie Moments banner. Now if you'd like to see my review of this, the link will be down in the description below. This obviously matches the previous version because of all the rings and the circular logo there in front. And, excuse me, I had like a little cough there, so that's why I didn't say anything. I have this little custom toolbox because Mattel never made one from Full Wheel Drive 7. He made this for me. I really do appreciate that. It's a little bit darker green than like the lime green, but I think it provides for a nice little contrast. And of course, you have the regular or the 2006 logo. And from Full Wheel Drive 7, I have this damaged shiny wax racer. Man, poor Darren. He got smashed with this crash right here in the Motor Speedway of the South. I mean, look at that. I'm not sure if he got back to racing, but this provides for a nice little display. And I will be doing a video on my damage racers soon. I think I might ask, what's it called? Faux Wheel Drive 7 to make all of them for me. I've probably like 65% uh, of the Piston Cup racers damaged. It'd be kind of cool to get all of them, I guess. But, you know, we'll see. You know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again. Wait, wait, wait. Todd Marcus has these same expressions, Darren, as well. <laughs> I just had to show that. The reason why I didn't say it before is because, all right, I got those other cars like Ralph, Ponchi, and Cal out of my display case, and they're all, like, right next to each other. Todd was on my table here because I'm in the process of making a video on this Awesome guy right here, also from Four Wheel Drive 7, so he wasn't in the display case, but yeah, anyway, I just had to say that. Came right to my head at the perfect time. Get out of here, damaged car. Get out of here. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much, Mr. Amazing Boys Toys Co. for Darren, and let me know in the comment section below, everyone, do you prefer 2017 Darren or 2006 Darren? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.